Well, changes are coming to Girard's popular polka bar, Kuzmin's. We told you in February that it was shutting down and the building was being sold. The new owner talked only to 27 First News reporter Tyler Trill about his plans. Tyler joins us live in the studio with those details. It's a story you'll only see on 27. Yeah, Linz, Rand Fusselman got the keys to the building in mid-March, and he says he immediately got to work. The bar will reopen in the coming months, but it may be a little different to Kuzman's regulars. The sign still reads Kuzman's. For now, this bar will soon become Rolling Mills. The name Rolling Mills comes from the first steel mill in this area of uh, Trumbull County and Mahoney County. Uh, which was just across the street from here, and it was called Gerard Rolling Mills. The new owner, the Rand Fusselman, will soon retire from Delphi. Owning the bar will be his life after retirement. I'm looking for something to do. I'm not ready to sit down and do nothing all the time. Kuzman's closed in early February after the owner, Helen, died. Her husband, John, passed away in 2010. The two owned the bar since the 1970s. We were told her son inherited the business and family members said he did not know if he'd be able to reopen it. Fusselman became the owner last month. He says the inside is going to look different. Right now he's in the process of changing the paint, the carpet and the theme of the bar and restaurant. And there's also a new menu. People knew Kuzman's for the polka and that too may change a bit. The ballroom part, we're going to bring in more venues, possibly country bands, some more modern pop bands, things like that. Fusselman says he's had some setbacks in getting the place ready to open. The building had a leaky roof and the plumbing also needed repair. Fusselman says the new sign should be up in a week or two. He hopes to have the restaurant and the bar open by May and the ballroom ready by the summer. In the studio, Tyler Troll, 27 First News at 6.